Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about casting a multiplying reel. What I've got here is my Saltus 13.6 um, MB rod. Uh, it's a three piece with my Saltus 50H. That'll be this one over here. And I've got it paired with 16 kilo Kingfisher giant abrasion nylon. I've attached it all with a bimini twist and 21 kilo maxima line. Okay, so the basics of casting a multiplying reel is very simple. It's basically a push and pull system. So what it is, is putting your line out, your sinker out, your bait out behind you transferring the weight from the left leg to the right leg, coming across and twisting your body. Remember to twist that body, because that gives you the power to actually do the cast. Left arm down, right arm up. Head up, that degree there is where you want to let go. So it's basically like that. So that's what you're trying to do. Left leg, Facing where you want to throw, right leg, slightly in front of it, if I can put it that way, slightly in front. So when you come around, you're doing this, it's like a twist. That's where I want to throw, that's where I'm coming. So that's the angle I'm going to throw it at. Okay, saying that, let's go. Remember your bimini twist, because you've got a big knot here, always remember to keep it on the left hand side of your reel or on the right hand side depending on which way you're holding it because I'm holding this way I'm going to keep the knot on the left hand side of the reel so let's just get it there so I can show you quickly and the knot is there it is there on the left hand side remember that okay another important thing to remember is your tension knob or drag tensioner on the side well the tension is a spool so what it does is you can tighten the spool like that so the sinker rolls down and doesn't get it over one very important so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over and you can see it doesn't move at all <clears throat> I'm now going to release it ever so slightly with my sinker weight and bait weight so there we go you can see it's starting to Let's do it again quickly. Okay, so the tension is very tight. When I release it slowly, you can see how the spool starts to move. That is too much. Okay, so let's pull that out. There we go, there we go. And the sink is already on the ground. Let's do it again. Perfect. That's how it should be. Let's do it one more time. No over one. So that's how you set it to start off with. Best way to learn is to have a tight spool tension. Once you get better and better at casting <clears throat> and you want to get more and more distance, release it ever so slightly. So just touch it like that and it'll make the spool a lot freer. Let's do it. You can see it becomes a lot freer. And when you actually mastered it, you don't even use the tension knob anymore. You have it on free spool and you can throw and you can carry on as till your heart's content. But that's it. Very important setting your tension on the actual spool knob. Tension knob. Okay. How we hold the rod, it's got a trigger on it. So one finger there, one finger like that so basically we're holding it like that getting our distance right uh, swing it out come across 
try. Once again, swing it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget all the tackle you've seen me use here are available from leading tackle stores nationwide as well as our Kingfisher branches. Come in and speak to our wonderful staff at Kingfisher and they will help you choose the right rod and reel to suit your needs.